Hey guys, it's Kumbasan. What if I told you that Bagley Funville, the cradle of Playtime Pussy, and Dan Noodle made a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game project called By the Hour that showcases fan games from the community every two weeks. Today's video, we are going to be checking out some of the full spats of fan games that By the Hour is showcasing, and the theme for this week is just keep moving. So things are going to get pretty intense. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about these fan games below. But let's begin. So, uh... Force game is a body FNAF game. So, uh, yeah, this is a body FNAF game. So, first off, uh, this is the menu. It doesn't really give us much options, but, uh, here's body. So, he comes by your office, buy an app to make him go away, solve math problems to get points. So, we gotta do math problems in this. So, it's just like body, but, uh, it's gonna get so intense, guys. Comes to your side of your office, look at it to make it leave. When it talks, it's going to run through the office, open your doors, so, uh, that's false prize. I forgot to mention arts and crafts. We'll get principal of the things. That's a creepy name. Was the principal always named that? I thought the principal was always named principal, but I guess it's not. So, when he asks Weddy, he will announce his arrival. Open the left door and put your tablet down. So, when you heal him, put down your... Okay, is that everything? And we got playtime. She will come to your office, close the door, and avoid her jump rope. Let's just begin. Okay, we got a little transition. Oh, okay, this is the office. Oh, oh my god, body. Uh, I suck at math. That's six. Bruh. Uh, I'm bad, guys. I'm bad at math. Okay. That's, uh, two. That's two. That's nine. That's three. That's, uh, seven. That's, uh, that's two. That's, uh, four. That's six. That's four. That's two. That's seven. I need to buy an apple. Okay. Yum. Oh my god, I almost died, guys. Okay, that's two. That's one. That's eight. That's seven. This this is intense. I can't I can't concentrate, guys. That's four. That's a two. That's seven. That's five. That's five. Okay, we can buy another apple. Okay, find another apple. Yum. This is so intense, or what are you guys? I hate doing math. I can't do with this, guys. It's so intense. I am I'm doing decently though. At math. See, look at this. We're going so fast, guys. That's, uh... Five? Is that five? Oh, my God. By the oh. apple, I almost died. Oh, God. It's the stupid goal. Okay. Let's no! Play. No, get off me! No! Oh, my God. Stupid goal. Shut up! Leave me alone, jump rope girl. We gotta survive four minutes. Oh my god. No, get off me! I'm messing up these math problems. That's that's a seven. You need sh you're so loud. Two. That's a three. Three. That's two. Okay, we need to buy an apple. Uh, nine. Okay, okay, that's two. I'm sorry that you're sad. Okay, that's six. We're gonna survive. Oh my, this is intense. What is going on? Oh! oh my god, guys. How am I gonna survive four minutes of body? Things were so intense. You're gonna solve so many math problems. How am I gonna do that, guys? Okay, okay. I don't think I can do this. So we got a map of body. So there he is. He moves pretty freaking fast, too. And we got a shop for power. It doesn't really matter though, because I think you can get through doors. Let's just let's just stare at Baldi to see where he goes. Okay, he's slowly coming, so Baldi, you got this. Okay. Okay, we die at that area. Okay, okay. So this is a pretty intense game. Uh it's if you guys are quick at math, you guys would definitely love this. But I am not the best at math. Oh. No, by the apple. Oh my god. This is intense. How are we supposed to do this so quickly? Like, it's, it goes way too fast for us to do, to do anything, guys. Like, body is so quick. Really concentrate on this. Like, honestly, guys. That's four. Like, you can't have a second to think, basically. Okay, buy an apple. Yeah. Guys, this is insane. Like, you gotta do so much math problems. Yeah. I need more math. I need more. I need more stuff. No! Get off me! Close the door! Close the door! I can't deal with you. I don't care if you're sad. You're very annoying. 
Uh, that's eight. I need to buy an apple. Uh, that's eight. That's two. That's uh, one. That's. I gotta look at you. Okay. That is. Uh, uh, oh my god. I don't care if you're sad. I don't care if you're sad. I gotta do these math problems so quick. This is insane. This needs to be passed out because how fast we gotta do math problems. That's six. Oh my god, we have barely any power left, guys. I don't think this is possible, guys. I honestly don't think this is possible. Uh, that's five. That's two. Oh, dude, he ate two of my apples. That is so unfair. Okay, we closed the door on that lady. Uh, bit. Okay, we gotta look down. I'm so scared of what's going on. Oh, we're gonna die, guys. We can't do this. That's three. That's four. That's eight. Come on. That's five. That's eight. Five. Ah! Guys, I can't do this. I think we got to three minutes, though, but things got so intense so quickly, guys. This game is pretty tense, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a little bit too aggressive for only a demo, I guess. But I guess you get what you're worth. It's a pretty enjoyable game. It's a good if you're good at math and stuff like that. But it is pretty intense, actually. Like, I'm not going to lie, guys. This game gets it gets pretty crazy pretty fast. And Baldi is an absolute menace. Maybe to lower the points to, like, 500 or, like, 400, for instance, for the apples. But other than that, this game is pretty good, actually. But let's go on to the next game. Okay guys, so the second game we are playing is called Wandy. So here's the animatronics, so we're gonna go over them real quick and we're gonna play the game. So the first guy, I don't, they don't have names, so I don't know what they're called. So uh, I'm guessing this is like a crocodile. So pick up rocks around the building to toss at him, click on him. So we get to throw rocks at this green guy. <laughs> kind of mean, but uh, it's not that bad, I guess. Cheats will spawn on the map, place one down whenever you can and you will be safe. So if we find cheats, just press space and we should be fine. And quickly move to a new room when he announces his arrival. So. Let's just begin. Okay, so this is the office. Oh boy, we gotta survive three minutes. These games, oh god, we've got some cheese. Got anything here? More cheese, we need walks. Oh, we gotta walk. Go walk at that guy. That guy scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, guys. These jump scales, and then this launches into these games. In my opinion, these games do need more politics. It seems like these games got washed out a little bit. Because they are kind of too easy to die. Like I'm not gonna die. I'm not, like I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna walk through that the guy with that cheese. I see. I, I don't know where these guys are. That's my only problem. Because I could easily die from someone I don't know. Like, I gotta be constantly on the move. Get that click. Click that guy. Okay, we got cheese. Click that. We got plenty of cheese. So we just gotta move fast, I suppose. Okay, we gotta move. Okay, we got more cheese. This game is pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the walk set? Okay, we gotta walk. Like, throw it at that guy. Oh, put the cheese down. Okay. Okay, that guy got- I gave the cheese to the wet looking guy. We gotta walk, we gotta not walk. Oh my god, this is so intense, guys. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, because I'm not sure how long this game is. And if I die at 1am, I'm gonna be very angry. We're doing pretty good, actually, for this, uh, demo. This- This guy's just constantly moving, though. And I don't like it, honestly, because it's kind of aggressive. Okay, we almost died to that guy. This guy's getting so fast. We got more cheese. We got a lot of cheese, guys. We got we, got, we love cheese. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, stop appearing in front of me. It scares the crap out of me. It, we got one minute left, guys. We got this. Okay, we need more walks. We need more walks, guys. We need more walks. We need walks. Okay, we got we need walks. We need walks. If we don't have walks, we're gonna die, guys. And we're only getting cheese. I don't need cheese. Walk. Okay. That was a full rotation. We gotta walk. Where was the walk set? 
I clicked out of the screen. I don't got no walks, guys. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, uh, dang it. It's really on G base because we can sometimes get unlucky and we can't get any walks. And some reason I couldn't click though. For oh, okay. I got jump scare by the wet this time. But I'm only getting cheese and it's getting, it's getting, it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Because I don't think we should be getting only cheese. We need walks. Where's the, where was the, okay, we got to walk. We threw that guy. Okay, we got another walk, which is awesome. We got to use that walk already though, so that's, that stinks. Game kind of lags a little bit when I, okay, I forgot to put, I forgot to put cheese down. That was, that's my fault. Let's do one more one of this game, and then we can give my critiques on it after I'm done. Okay, where's the cheese at? I can't find no cheese. I'm going to die. There's a walk. I need cheese. I need, I'm going to die, guys. I got no cheese. I got no cheese. Okay, so here's going to be some of my complaints about Wainies. For once, uh, it's on G-Base, so sometimes you can find a walk, and sometimes you can't find a walk or cheese, and that can easily get you killed. Also, the animatronics are a little bit too aggressive for my liking. I know it's only like a little demo of the whole game or something like that. But they are very, very aggressive and it's hard to do anything. I did survive until like one minute left, which is pretty good, honestly, because I got good RNG until the end. But the game relies on too much RNG and that can be a deal, make, a deal breaker for many people. But I think the game is okay. It just needs to fix some of that stuff and maybe like make more rooms or something like that uh, but other than that it's a okay game but let's go on to the final game of this video so guys it's the final game and it's called out of order so welcome employee 4563 if you're watching this tape this means you have been hired to work with us on a brand new summer job at the fastball entertainment storage before beginning your shift it is important that you watch this tape carefully in order to know what you're getting yourself into so we're gonna watch the tape so we got a bunch of animatronics in front of us so those we're gonna be encountering, I guess. The art force is Springo Bunzo, an old shoot savage from an unbooked secret room in the last existing location of the now defunct Fazbell Entertainment franchise during its demolition. It's a meal presences and talk. I'm guessing this is probably the spring bonnie suit or the spring trap suit was in the secret room because it's mentioning secret room. So I'm guessing this is Fazbell fights they're talking about. Up next is Endo 083, a retired endoskeleton from one of the first Fazbell locations. Perpetrator of an incident so infamous it led to the company's downfall for a decade straight until it shut down. The poor kid, it wasn't his, it was his birthday. So this was the Fred Bell endoskeleton that uh, killed the client child. So uh, that's very very sad, but nice lore. I really like the lore. But uh, rest in peace, crying child. Oh, oh my God, what is up with her face? Uh, she looks like a Celt from Cords of the Cowardly Dog. And lastly is Madeline Boo Bell, an animatronic from Fazbear's sister location that never officially opened. Ever since we purposed as a seasonal and animatronic in other Fazbear locations, the putty paint on Boo Bell has fully deteriorated the, into abandonment. So now we got a hub over an animatronic to know how to defend yourself from it. So who do we got to do? We got. Okay, let's look at the end of skeleton for some starting from 2 a.m. End of 083 will try to establish, sabotage the power, look at it from time to time in the power room to push it away. Make sure that we charge the power in the panel, it attacks in the dark. So. Better watch out because it can kill us if our lights are out. Bunch will attack from either hearts. If the shark isn't ready, close the gate. He will retreat to the other hearts. Once the shark is ready, wait for him to get into one of the storage units, storage rooms, and shock him to push him back out of the room, stunning him for a bit. Then when we see him, so shock him without charges and ready, just close the door. Okay. And starting from 4 a.m., Madeline will approach from either of your doors. If you heal the whole laughing, go to the hall seas and, and listen carefully. If you heal breathing, go back to the office and close the door seas at. If not, use the flashlight to scale hallway. Hold control to use the flashlight. So, these are the animatronics we're going to deal with. I think the most annoying is going to be the four, the um, Spring Trap clone and uh, Elizabeth clone. They're going to be the most annoying to deal with. But I guess this is our office, so... Can we? Oh, we can actually go though. Oh, I don't like that, guys. And we got our cameras over here. There's one of the animatronics in the place, and we got an old clock. So we got a maintenance panel. So we gotta actually put stuff in here, which is kind of annoying, but it shouldn't be that hard, depending on the night. So we gotta put in a lot of keys. I really hate when games do this though because it's very anxiety, and also sometimes it's hard to tell what's is which. 
Okay, that is walking. So we got our camo. So we got the production room, hall A, testing room, hall B, storage A, storage B, and the power room. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's it's only 1 a.m. So nothing bad should be happening. And our power... Okay, okay. I guess we just died. Okay. My bad. I didn't know the animatronics were already gone. These guys, these animatronics in these games are all aggressive. Holy crap. Okay, now we gotta check up on the animatronic. Okay, there he is. Okay, we need to keep it... A an eye on that guy. So that is good to know. We waste a ton of power though. That's one thing I don't like. Okay, he's in that room. So we can watch into him go to storage unit 5. Okay, there he is. I can't suck. I can't suck, guys. What? I can't suck. I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. Close the door. Okay. Wait. That's my left door. That's my left door. Go to the left. No, I'm gonna- I'm gonna die. Yeah, ah, uh, dang it. Why wouldn't I- it wouldn't let me close the door for some reason. These games are freaking hard. I'm not gonna lie, guys. These- these are hard games. These games are pretty fast-paced. That is the theme for these games, so, uh... Let's do this. Let's see why... What is that, an L? Uh, money sign. M7896 5 plus hashtag. Okay. Okay, he's in camo. That... Let's do that. So we're doing okay. Making sure no one's in... Okay. He is in there now. Our electric sock is still not ready. It's almost about to be two, so we gotta watch out for the other guy. But I think our sock is ready, so... That's good to know. Where was he? I can't see him. Okay, there he was. Okay. Oh, wait. Until okay, we only get 25% power. How are we gonna do this, guys? We're gonna die. Okay, AF5. Oh, money sign. This is crazy. If we're gonna be able to do this, we gotta be fast, guys. We are dead. We are. Oh, we got no power. Oh boy. Here comes the endoskeleton. Ah, dang it. These games are so difficult. It, you gotta be so fast, and you can barely any think. Let's try this one more time and see how it is, but... I think... What was that? You guys see that? There was an Easter egg in our office. I do like those Easter eggs, though, but... I'm not gonna be able to do this, guys. I'm not gonna be able to do this. D-Y-L... Money sign... M... 7... 8... 9... 6... 5... Plus... Hashtag... Plus... Hashtag... Okay. Okay, the guy's still in the office. Two codes? Oh, we can't do this, dog. We can't do this, dog. We can't do this. We can't do this at all. The animatronic's gone now, at least, but... Holy crap. Do I gotta do two of these codes? Aw, oh, dang it, guys. Oh, I, I gotta look at... This is in... You can't beat this. There's no way you could actually beat this. It was like, there's no way. There was no way you could actually do this, guys. This this is impossible. There was no fucking way you're actually supposed to beat this game. There's no way. But guys, that was out of order. So all these games, they each have their own problems to talk about the body game. The points for apples and the points for when you actually score stuff is not enough because... I only survived, like, I don't know how long. I think only three minutes or two minutes, and things got pretty chaotic in the end. And you don't have enough time to actually put in the codes so you can get apples, so you can die from that. The second game, uh, gotta be too fast, and it relies on too much RNG. And this game, it's impossible of how long the codes are and how much you gotta watch one character and another character. And that wasn't even the Eleanor clone. This game is impossible to beat. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. This happens every, like, this happens bi-weekly, so expect... These types of videos, they come out every, like, Friday or whatever when the, they actually come out. Because it was delayed. This is supposed to be out on Friday, but there was some silver problems, I guess. But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps it a lot. Let's get to 30k. But I will see you guys next time.